that is Trevor for my peeps, the comment peeps, back for episode 57 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon peeps plays. Let's get a move on here. Ooh, I see you. How do I get to that? Hold up. How do I get here? Wait, I want that TM. Wait. Wait, why? Why can I not get there? Do I have to walk all the way around? Well, you bet I'll walk all the way around. Hey, lady. I... Okay. A power spot. What do you mean a power spot? No. I. It seems like there's a TM right there. Granted, it's out in the open, so it's probably not anything too amazing, but... I want it. I want it. I want it. You have a... Ooh, a Lola? No, regular. Hmm. If I was paying attention, she might have been a tourist. I don't know. I have to pay attention when she, uh... Gets obliterated. I have to pay attention when she gets obliterated. Goodbye. He lived! How dare you? The heck did he just use Sandstorm? Interesting. Uh, very interesting. I would like my HP back, please. I can't believe we have speed. Granted, it is a standard Pokemon. I don't know why you haven't evolved your Sandshrew, but whatever. Are you going to send out a Vulpix? Regular? She is a sightseer, by the way, so. Hmm, a Sandshrew and a Persian. Interesting. Oh, yikes. Don't do that. Don't do that. I am not a fan of that. Do not do that. This should hurt. Ooh. 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 I was not expecting it to kill. Absolutely was not expecting that to kill. Yikes. Yikes! Mr. Miyagi is no joke. Liquidation? It's physical. About time. We're finally learning. <sighs> We're finally learning a water type move. Oh my gosh. And it's physical. Shadow Claw, you. Oh. Finally. Finally. It's about freaking time. How long I've been waiting for a water type move on Mr. Miyagi? Let's freaking go! Oh, oh, you can, ooh, you can actually surf on that water there. Interesting. Scald, scald? And I'm sitting here saying that's a bad TM. No, scald is far from a bad TM. Scald is far from a bad TM. Scald is very good, actually. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody that could really make use of it. I don't think any of my special attackers can learn it. Oh my gosh, leave me alone. Thank you. I'm spraying a super repel. F this. F the bullcrap. We're trying to explore and move forward, all right? I'm not trying to get stuck. We're trying to explore and move forward. Gosh dang it. Be gone. Be gone, wild thoughts. That, really? Can You, you can really... Wow, that has got to be the easiest. No, that's not what I wanted. That has got to be the easiest. Wow, that's so interesting to me. That has got to be the easiest spot to farm ever. There's no loading screen. And it's right there. That's why are they all just darting out of nowhere? Is that an item I see or is that a Pokemon? All the Pokemon are bubbles. So. Alright, good for you, Wilmer. Yeah, look at you. Look at you, big Mr. Smiley McGee. I don't care. I don't care. Wilmer should be slow enough. Thank you. Get out of here. Mr. Miyagi has no time for you. It is a Pokeball. A max revive, even. This ain't no Nuzlocke, so... I'll take it. Ain't no Nuzlocke. Y'all heard me, right? Who needs the English? Who needs the English? Alright, well, I wasn't trying to skip all the way over here. Don't worry, we'll explore all this. A trainer appeared. Well, if you want a fish poke, why don't you get in the water? Why don't you get in the water? I'm mad at this Dr. Pepper, by the way. If y'all saw last episode, I had to slurp a little Dr. Pepper off my arm. Apparently, it dripped down into my keyboard. I had to take off my enter key and clean all the way around it. 
if you don't know, if you've never taken off your keys before, the enter key is one of the suckiest ones to take out. Because it's got the two little clips. And maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm an idiot. But I have problems putting it back on for some reason. I just I have so many problems trying to get the key back into the clips. Putting it back down is no problem. Back into its little four-starred hole or whatever. That's easy. Trying to get it back into the clips, that is not easy. Not for me. So I spent a good amount of time just cleaning up around those keys. And I'm just mad that I don't even know how it dripped. It got onto my arm and I thought, okay, it's, it was like this teeny tiny little puddle. So small. I was like, alright, cool. At least it was just my arm. Then I look around and I'm like, what is this? What is this? Alright, who needs levels? Genova, Keopora, in fact, pretty much everybody. Because now everybody's level 48. Again, once the general team hits 50, once most of our mons start hitting 50, then I don't know why he came into you. Spirit Shackle should kill you. Then we'll take the XP share off. But I don't know, man. I'm the same level as Nappy, and everyone says that Nappy's still gonna get blown back, so it kind of scares me to take the XP share off, to be quite honest. To be quite honest, it, it does scare me to take the XP share off, so... I don't know if we're gonna quite do that. Um, look at that geyser. Look at that geyser. Ooh. Ooh, I see that sticker. There's only two stickers left in the game after that one. Holy moly. That's it? That's some very short expiration. I'm assuming, yeah, as I said, I assume this guy's gonna want, have to, something to say. Rare training. Rare training discovered. I must immediately make contact. I mean, if you think I'm rare, thank you, Collector Rain. What you gonna throw out? Oh, oh, he used a Premier Ball too. Oh my guy. Oh yikes, that thing's actually a little scary. Unfortunately for you, ah, frick. Unfortunately for me, I'm an idiot. Ah. Can we live? We're not living. Well, our physical's high. We might actually live. Oh, easy. You're dead now. We just lowered your defense. The liquidation will body you. Bye-bye! Oh, my gosh. Do you know how great it is to finally have a water move? Oh, man. Mr. Miyagi just gets better with age. It's like the real Mr. Miyagi, man. The older he gets, then the better he gets. This is crazy. Now, as much as I would, I don't want to go into winning. Even though it is a dragon type, I don't want to go into Wendigo. I, just, I don't. Wendigo's already level 50. Genova, Kaepora, Levitane. It's not really, I don't really have many other options to be quite honest. Oh, you know what? If it's a dragon type, Genova will be fine. We can play rough. I didn't even think about that. Well, let's play rough this hoe. You want to play? Then we'll play rough. We've seen a Drompa before? Oh, from uh, Ryuki. Dang, he lived. Alright. We will just slap him now with a standard... We'll slap him now with any standard hit. Be oh, wait. Okay, Leech Life. I was going to say, he's normal. I can't hit him with the standard Shadow Claw. But we have Leech Life. Ha! Ha ha ha. Oh, of course. The secondary non-important crit. Of course. You have a sense for why you seem rare? I mean, my dude, you're the one with the two dragon types, so. You tell me. You tell me. Please don't. Thank you. I don't know if our super, I don't know if our repel is even still up. Give me more. With two more stickers. Something tells me we're not gonna, oh, you want us to come back after we're the champion. That's right. Okay, well, that's something to add to my notes. I'll do that uh, when I get a second. I don't really need to add it to notes because I think the game mentions it specifically, but just in case. Uh, last island, it's Pony Pony. I forgot the island name for a second. Pony Pony, I Pony Point Island. I see you two down there. I see you two down there. Hello. Hello. Pony Pony Island, uh, right of Hapu's. Uh, right of 
canyon go after champion there the ruins of hope what is this place the air feels so oppressive B but if we go in there maybe nibby will return to normal the people believe that the guardian deity of these ruins tapu fini can wash away any impurities with some mystic water that sounds promising we'll reassure her that's right it does mr four i'm going to give it my all so that we can return nebby back to normal so just you wait nebby this time i'm going to be the one who saves you come on mr four let's go let's -a go let's -a go indeed let go Mudstail's just out here. Let's hope that these wishes granted at the ruins of hope instead of our hopes ruined. Dang. Don't be like that. Now, I could technically go to all the other um, guardian deity things, the ruins, but I don't think there's anything to do until post-game, so. If we're going to break a path, we'll need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? Yeah, I like how they don't show her. They didn't want to animate her trying to push that. I don't think I can do this. It's heavier than words can even express. Maybe Nintendo knows that if they animated that, then they would get a pantsu shot, a panty shot, because she's got a very short skirt on. Nintendo must have known. That mu I bet you it's not because they were lazy. I bet you it's because they knew they could not animate that and not make it in any sense of a way like sexual or I guess sensible. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't think sexual, like... Because they wouldn't intentionally make it sexual, but I guess that's what it would it, it would inherently be. It would innately be just due to the nature of how short her dress is. We'll have to borrow my champ's formidable strength for this task. I read about it in a book once. If I remember right, it said, we're getting around. Okay, I don't care. I, we know that. If we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit of perspective. Mmm. I like how there's a, a slight story reason is to resetting the blocks it's not really a canon reason because stepping outside really would not change the block formation in the real world but it's it's something you know it's it's something it's not a hard puzzle at all though i don't think any of them are all of them are really easy puzzles doesn't look like this one got changed either this looks like it's the exact same puzzle and i doubt they would have changed the puzzles there's really no need to and they're just more, they're more of a waste of time than puzzles, to be quite honest. Uh, okay, I was going to say, Lily, you're coming? <laughs> We're here for you, girl. It's all about you, girl. I've read about them, you know. Alola's sacred ruins and the guardian deities worshipped within them. They go wherever they want, so it's just... Not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. The book says that they are, well, capricious. Capricious. Whatever you say. Encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nebby. <laughs> Nebby is not to F out. Oh, there's Hapu. That's right, don't they end? Yeah, as I say, don't they have a cutscene here? An animated cutscene here? Well, the whole game's animated. Don't they have like a CGI cutscene, I guess? Oh, it sure is beautiful. My precious. <laughs> and now Hapu's the villain of the game. Can you imagine? I give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people. Oh, look at that. We've met the Kahuna. And the Pokemon of Alola. So you two are watching. I did not know that her first word was oh. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living in on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me they are pretty new to our pods. Hey, Mr. Bow, hey, you came to Alola from far off. You must be really something then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the top, even a stranger to our souls. My grandfather, my grandfather was also chosen for this honor, the honor of being our island's kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we were left without a kahuna on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the Tapu back then. So I set out on my own sort of island challenge, traveling alone, trying to grow stronger. Lily, 
The Kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Oh, of course. Then please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Lunala, who we pay tribute to at the altar of the moon. I must go after my mother. She disappeared off into some far-off world, and a fearsome creature lives in that world, a Pokemon called Necrozma. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. A world where peace beside, eh? I reckon there must be some kind of world. You find it the other end of those holes and open up in the sky, just as my grandfather once described. All right, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But I, what I know is not that much. Just that there is a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the sun flute. It seems that my mother had it. Ho! Oh, <laughs> that looks to be the flute they used to reside at the lake on the Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on the Executor Island. I do not know why they're of all places, but it has been passed down. That's... That that's where it belongs. Executor, Executor Island. I think I've read about it once. It's an uninhabited, uninhabited island off the coast of Pony. Isn't that right? Yes, and no reason to doubt here. Let us go and speak with Mina. Lily, you take Midsdale. We proceed to Seafoam Village. I like how Mina is actually a little more integrated in this story. Because in Sun and Moon, she just kind of showed up. And she showed up. She's like, I have a trial. Fight me. And then you're done. Like... I like how they, she has, a, even if it's not much, at least they're giving her some shine in this game. So she doesn't just randomly show up on a bridge and she's like, fight me, I'm one of the trials. But she doesn't really, I, I hope they actually gave her a trial too. I hope she has an actual trial as well because... She did mention something about it, so we'll see. Now, this might be a long episode. We're going to go to Executor Island. I was hoping this would take more time so executor island could be next episode but we'll see let's hope executor island is not more than 20 25 minutes thank you hapu and that's assuming we get there in three minutes thank you hapu and thank you mudsdale that's what friends do F friends an amazing trainer like hapu considers me a friend yo hapu is gonna get smacked up by us huh she's not no amazing trainer i'm so glad i met you hapu to journey to Executor Island, you should speak with Mina. She can help arrange a boat for you. I shall be wishing for your safety. Yeah, quit wasting our time, little midget lesbian. Get out. Out, out, out. Don't worry. We'll smack you up a little later. She, yo, she, she walked right up to us. <sighs> okay, you know what? Stop. I don't care. I should probably heal my Pokemon before we take off, though. Did you find out anything useful? Yes, and Hapu was made the new Kahuna. Little Hapu was... This is where she's rubbing her eyes. What? We've been having old man Nunu look after our grandchilds up until now. Hey, now that we've got our own little Kahuna, that's great. Yes, Hapu will do her best for her late grandfather. And I must do my best for my mother's sake. And for Nebby as well. A and S uh, and so there's a place that we need to go. Executor Island. Oh, <laughs> where the flute is, right? All <laughs> right. Well, in that case, we'd better get the chief. Did ya call me, Lassie? <laughs> See, this is the guy who originally greets you. Oh my goodness. Nice to meet you. I'm the chief of the sea folk. I couldn't help overhearing what you said, so why not get you to Executor Island? Oh, thank you. Let me heal first. Hold up there, little lady. It's Mr. Four who will go on this trip. He is a trainer, after all. And Executor Island is a pretty crazy place. Ah, that's true. There are some crazy critters on that island. It's one thing for a trainer to go, but if you're not a trainer, you should just trust your friend to take care of this task for you. But, Mr. Four... Uh, frick. Did they really make her stay behind? You're right. I'm sure you and Galissapod can handle it better than anyone else could. I'll wait for you. I'll wait here for you to come back. What? And while we're waiting for Mr. Four, I'll make you a model for model for a picture, Lily. Ha, ha, ha. Wait. They completely changed the whole Executor Island scene? What? Because you remember, in Sun and Moon, you go to... Yo, something's about to go down. Something is about to go down. It has to. It absolutely has to. 
Because you remember last time we were here, Lily came with us. And it started, it was sunny. And then it starts raining. And we hide out in that little cave there. And we have like a little lovey-dovey moment with shooting stars. Yo, something's got to go down. Something has to be going down. Why else would they make Lily stay back? Something has to go down here. Come on, please. You can't just have her stay back and not change anything about this island. Yikes, that's different. They got these- Oh my- They got these hoes just waddling around everywhere. Before, there was just one tree sticking out and you go talk to them. Whoa! Whoa! Look at these- Dude, they are going ham. They had a rock concert or something? Uh, here we are, Executive Island. I this place used to be a trial site. Oh, that was so long- Some long time ago. Huh? Looks like the fellas are even more worked up than usual. Yeah, th but they're always a noisy bunch. It's probably fine. You go on. Good luck. Don't laugh at me. He knows. Don't tell me the only thing they changed that these fools are headbanging now. If that's the only change they made, I'm going to be mad. I thought something like really legitimately serious would go down here. Like some ultra beast shows up and tries to stop us or something. A bit odd. We can fight these hoes. Interesting. Oh, you know what? I bet you we... Okay. I was gonna say, are we fighting it alone with the executor? Frick! I completely forgot that I didn't heal. Oh, yikes. Uh, let's hope a first impression does it. It's not a trainer's Pokemon, so we'll see. Maybe if I get lucky, we can kill it. Ooh, Yes? I'm sorry, Mr. Miyagi. That's on me. I forgot to heal. I was so caught up in these headbangers. So caught up in these headbangers that I completely forgot. Um, let's go Leonardo. Then we'll revive. And then we will smack him with a Iron Head. An Iron Head should kill. Where are revives? Bang, bang, bang. You know what this thing actually reminds me of with his, with his mouth? It actually reminds me of, uh... I forgot, there's that dragon in, uh, the first Dark Souls, but I don't remember his name. It's just kind of like the, I don't know. He's really disgusting. He's a really disgusting dragon, to be quite honest. Hey, 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 All right. Waving its head around happily now that the pincer is chased off. Interesting. So are we not gonna get the chance to catch, catch? Are we not gonna get the chance to catch one here? Hmm. I'm gonna be mad if all they change is that these dudes are freaking out. I personally like Lily, and I love that little lovey dovey moment in Sun and Moon. And now it's gone. Thwack! I guess we could have tried to catch that pincer, but we already have one. So it's just a bunch of pincer. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye, Dr. Pepper. Now, might as well first impression. I mean, it does a lot of damage. It's super strong. Ooh! 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. And we're gonna get a level up off this last pincer. Let's go. So I guess they're not going to a rock concert, although it certainly looks like they were trying. Yeah. What, are we fighting Link now? Is Link up in this tree? Is that the problem? We go tap the tree and Link goes, yeah. Speaking of Link, I really hope they bring Super Smash Bros. to the Ooh, we should be able to first impression this dude. All right, I guess this female. Oh, I'm, I really hope that they bring... Dang. That last one must have been defense-lowering nature. Because what are the odds that we find a couple of defense-raising? That one must have been defense-lowering. That makes more sense than a bunch of defense-raising, to be quite honest. Dang! Calm down, greedy. Greedy, greedy ho. Greedy, greedy ho. Greedy, greedy, greedy ho. But yeah, I hope that they bring the new Smash to Switch. I really want to get good as Cloud. But I'm not buying that game for 3DS. I'm, I'm just not, okay? I'm just not. Just not. Alright, we chased all the pincer away. Does something happen? Something does happen. Uh-oh. Y'all gonna gang up on me now? I'm about to get gang-banged? 
Oh no, where's it going? He wants me to follow? Alright, what's going on with you hoes now? Nothing? Nothing going on with you hoes now? Alright. Y'all hoes have fun then. Y'all hoes have fun. Uh, I take it back. It might not have been this cave. A big pearl. Might have been a cave. I don't know. It was one of those little coves, though. But I feel like it was on the left side of the island. Oh, now what? Uh, now you're gonna block me? Oh! I see. I, I was wondering. I was like, what? How, what's gonna stop them from just... Oh! Not gonna lie. I was not looking for a totem sticker. I was just spamming A for a hidden item. No, 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 What'd that say? Something about this long neck. What was I reading? Hold on. I want to see what it said. I'm sorry. You slid down an executor's long, long neck. All right, take me back up. I'm, I'm making sure he gets his exercise in. There's only one totem sticker left. And I, I really feel like it's we're not going to find it for a long time. Because we don't even know what the next totem Pokemon will be. And I doubt that they'll... Uh, I doubt that they'll spoil it. So is that it? Is Executor Island really this quick now? Yeah, we'll take the flute. Is that really it? See, we're supposed to have this lovey-dovey moment with Lily. And now we have to experience it alone. My heart, it's broken. Can't you hear it? Can you listen to this? Can you hear it cracking? My heart. Welcome. Welcome back, Mr. Four. <laughs> now that you've got the most floats up to the altar, I guess. Excuse me. The altar can be found in the deepest part of the vast Pony Canyon. <laughs> That's a gex or a shirt took a liking to you. You clearly got something important and you as a trainer. Pony would like it that much. That went from like a 15 to 20 minute island to like five. What was that? That was literally like a five to six minute trip. That was super quick. Now that we've got deep flutes, we need to head past vast Pony Canyon. Well, I guess that worked out pretty good. And for the third time in a row, we're going to end this episode and start the next episode in that exact same intersection because it's the perfect place to start it's literally right where we need to go so i'll go ahead and see you guys in the next episode hold up burn, 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 burn. No. anyways i'll see you guys in the next episode we will go through the vast pony canyon i don't know if i want to record another episode or not because obviously it's going to take a couple episodes i assume to get through the canyon there might be trials. I might just wait until tomorrow. In fact, I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm probably going to wait till tomorrow for myself. Because then the three episodes I record tomorrow, two to three episodes of tomorrow, I can get all of Vast Pony Canyon done. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Either way, I'm done stalling. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Peace out.